I don't get it. Uh, well, basically what we're offering is uh, an opportunity for a mea culpa. A, uh, I'm sorry, if you will. Look, folks, our research shows that this free market stuff, it just doesn't go over well these days. I mean, it's not popular with the young generation or women. Oh, who really knows what women want? Am I right? And this milk stuff is really killing you guys. Look, you come out with this commercial against subsidized milk, you get some kid in New Hampshire all excited, he goes and gets a petition to get subsidized milk out of schools. Well, that really pissed the dairy farmers off, huh? And then there was that front group of... Uh, Moms for milk. Right, Moms for milk. They're claiming that uh, all the kids in New Hampshire have uh, mass hysteria brought on by calcium deficiency. The situation is not good. Look, the purpose of this advertising campaign is to apologize. Just admit that you got carried away with this liberty stuff. Look, I'm gonna set you guys up with an ultra cool promotional deal for all American organic milk. You, sir, will be the new spokesman for Got Milk with the headline, wait for it, drink milk, whether it's subsidized or not. I can see it now. The Competitive Enterprise Institute announces big government is healthier than big waistbands. You won't even be alone. Businesses all over the country are coming out for big government. It's true. It's not like we want you to be socialist or anything. No, of course not. <laughs> but a little socialism wouldn't hurt, seriously. Just a spoonful of socialism. Look, we're talking about the front page of the New York Times, the front page of the Huffington Post, and maybe, just maybe, I don't want to make any promises here, I sit down with Rachel Maddow. I can see it now. Fred Smith announces why he learned to stop worrying and love the nanny state. It's gonna be awesome! Plus, really, it's the right thing to do. Son, are you suggesting we'll gain respect by abandoning all our free market principles and by issuing insincere apologies? Uh, yes! I wouldn't put it like that. Of course you wouldn't. Mr. Smith, I can assure you we have focus grouped this to death, and almost every Fortune 500 company agrees with our methodology. Look, we brought you guys in because we wanted your help in communicating what we thought was good about free markets, about capitalism. It shouldn't have been hard. I mean, nothing has done more to make a wealthier, healthier world. Look at the choices capitalism offers. Look at the ability to create efficient production capacity. And most importantly, look at the way it democratizes the privileges that were once restricted to royalty. It shouldn't have been hard. I guess we've been looking at a lot of Mad Men episodes recently, and I guess we thought you guys were gonna be Don Drapers, um, you know, walking in, giving us your magic. But this wasn't like Mad Men. This wasn't like Mad Men at all, was it? Not at all. Nothing like Mad Men. So look, guys, um, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it, but uh, we're not gonna be using you. And so I guess the best thing is goodbye. Sorry, I forgot my sign. You know, Joan, I, I, I think I need a drink. Can you get me one? <sighs> or maybe a smoke, too. <laughs>